that pad split continue to grow and be able to open more markets mm -hmm. right. and get ready for the next stage of growth that we're going in. Yeah. So for people who don't realize where they can buy a property, where do you guys recommend, like, hey, where would I launch a pad split? Go, oh, baby. Orlando. Let's talk about Orlando. Orlando, right? yeah. Um, I'm going to focus on those high-density population areas. Mm -hmm. Potentially, I will target the Hispanic community. So I'm going to potentially look at Summerlin. I'm going to look at Lake Underhill. Got it. I'm going to look at closer to UCF. Yep. Valencia, Full Sail. Yep. Maitland. Maitland, right. All those major... Winter Park? I mean, it depends on where Winter Park. Oh, we're saying a 434. Yeah. Winter Park. Uh, yeah. Right? Uh, I'm on the nice side of Winter Park. You can't do Park Ave. But you can. Or near Park Ave. Yeah. But you can Not do Fairbanks. before you get no, yeah, to... I know. Yeah, you're talking about when you're almost getting into like 328220, uh, I believe. Yeah. You're right there, just north of Fairbanks. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yes. Um, Closer to the hospital. Right? Because you don't want the neighborhood to be too pretty, but exactly. you also don't want it to be too slummy. Yeah, like East End Market's fine. Baldwin Park's not fine. No. Some run on the other side is fine. And right. so you're adjacent to those nice areas that you are providing affordable housing, but maybe they can't afford Baldwin right. Park. But they work at the public like, at Baltimore. We wouldn't go to Celebration, but we would go to Kissimmee. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. And then we have all those jobs in Disney. This is not just the parks, it's the hotels, it's the restaurants, it's like so massive uh, that all those people that sh through short term rental were displaced as well because they became all these short term rental spaces now. Okay, let's find a place for them mm -hmm. to live as well. Yep. So yep. all those areas would yep. just be phenomenal areas for you to invest in a good time. So I did a. Um I did a breakdown of my course showing like these, these, these are major metro areas where pad split is running their marketing dollars. Yep. Not only that, the population growth is exponential. Not only that, the also basic job growth. What is fueling these, uh, these rooms are basic job growth. The people working at the Amazon, the people working at the Walmarts, That's the people right. working at the Publixes, the people who, who are having struggles making uh, ends meet. Yep. I talk about major metro areas. If you're getting properties sent to you and they're not in a major metro area or they're in the boonies or they're a cow town, like no, don't no. consider it. No, Wipe no, it no. off your list. Create a buy box. Don't go outside your buy box. That's going to help you eliminate all the noise. There's no. a lot of noise. We all know. And no HOAs. Yeah. No, I don't do HOAs at all. Okay. Anything I buy. Yeah. I hate HOAs. Same. I don't want to follow their bylaws and their, 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 their covenances and all this blah, blah, blah. You, pay, you pay more fees when you close. It just... I always look like this, right? Even though that we don't have an HOA, we do have an HOA because we have to deal with code enforcement. Right, yep. right. So right, code right. enforcement is my HOA, right? But I'm prepared to deal with them, yep. right? And I've built a relationship with them, by the way. And they know me. I have their cell phone numbers, like, you know, because I've had issues in the past. Yep. And I gain compliance. I'm not, not trying to be a, a, a person where they're writing, you know, uh, putting me in, in court because right. I'm not complying with them, which they will do. They're very powerful. Oh, they will. They will put, they'll put a lien on your property. Yep. A lot of people don't realize that. They will summons you to court 100%. and say, hey, look, we're having a court uh, 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 session because you're not, you're not complying. That's right. So when I have an issue and like the property that I just converted, I'm prepared. To, to, to get, you know, if anything happens, I'm prepared to deal with them, right? I do like but, your house, though, and for many weird little what reasons. As you were talking about, like, the the refi on your house, yeah. you're, you could refi that house. Yeah. Still has a pad split. And the reason why you could is because you still have a living room. Yeah, I just, so the reason why I haven't refied the property, to be quite frank with the you, is because time. the debt service is so low. Right. So I refied it. So basically, the way I look at pieces of real estate, and you're going to have different opinions from different investors, I'm young, right? I'm 33. Every time I acquire a new piece of real estate, I don't just buy it for cash flow. Mm -hmm. I buy it for tax incentives. Okay. I buy it for leverage. Okay. I buy it because it's a money farm. I buy it because appreciation. There's all these. Di so uh, the way I'm struck, this, the way I have this deal, I have a, I have a lot of options that I can go with on this deal uh, in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. the, the one that I sent you the other day. Um, the entry fee, the initial entry fee on it's going to be about. $45,000, right? That's gonna be closing costs, cash to seller. Uh, I got that brought to me by a wholesaler. That's why it's important to have relationships. Um, you know, obviously all the little other miscellaneous entry uh, costs. But right now I have multiple people that have reached out that have also done business with me that know I'm reputable, who know, like, and trust me. He say, hey, Javier, I can come in as a PMP, right? 
I can give you, I have right now, I have a person willing to give me all the capital at 10% long term, simple interest only, okay. secured by the real estate, or I can bring the PMP in, 50 50 the deal if I want, or I can buy the deal with all my own capital, which I don't want to do at all. 